That, that um, comes as a fairly big issue to me, and I can tell by the sincerity in you asking that. And I'd need to do some more research. I wasn't really aware of that. I only just recently heard something about that. And um, there, there are issues and there's different needs and, and cultures that we have to observe. And as I say before, I want to listen to the community. And we have our, we'll have people in the council in the Māori liaison. And I'm sure those concerns can be brought to us. And we do have to listen and, and see what we can do to make some changes we want to keep people more and more happy and I think it's important that we do that and, and I'm pleased you've brought that to my attention. My last question. I leave a lot of other questions to the other people because that's not been, uh, been fair. It's about our burial places which we have concerns Every time we bring it up, you know, just a last incident a little while ago with the pool where I, that an old site wasn't a burial site, was, was, was an old site pre European and got destroyed. But in saying that, there's a lot of burial places that are going to get destroyed in the near future. How can we work together in protecting that when you elected Mia of Angare? Not if, when <laughs> you elected Mia of Angare. How, how would you help to work together and to protect those sites that are so sacred to our people? And of course, these other places that have been desecrated in the past. How? Will you ensure that that will never happen again? Not just for Māori, but little examples of Kia Roy and Rust Ave, that will never happen again. So by that, it should apply to our ones as well. That's another area that we must enter into consultation. And I, I understand what you say, and I hear what you say. And it's the same as where my grandparents are, are buried. Um, I would be very, very disturbed if anything happened to that area, because to me that's very sensitive. And I think that's an area that, again, we have to enter into consultation with, with you people. And you have different cultural needs than other people, and we do have to sincerely listen and take it on board. And I think the consultation is the important part. We have to listen, we have to ensure that our ears are open when we listen, and we have to actually take some action rather than just talk about it. But that's what, you know, as I say, I've been very critical of our consultation or lack of consultation processes, and that's something that I will be focusing on immensely in the future. Okay. Tēnākoe Thank you for giving me thank you for giving me this honor to ask these questions and thank you for taking time out to meet me here in the sacred ground of Hihiawa. The bow heading on the road to mothers, the places where our canoes were tied up here, and we buy this fine art, this fine work here of the waka and wave that was done by uh, a master carver, Tuanaki Kitaraka, and another master of stone carving.
just thank you for having giving us that opportunity to give and ask questions. And the biggest thing is, is I mean, I suppose they call it consultation, but it's communication, and that's how we learn to understand one another. So the more we do of that, I reckon. But today has proved the point of communication and understanding. Did that. Well, I'd like to thank you, Fred. It's been my pleasure, and I want the questions to keep coming. All right, in the future. That's what I want to be there for, to represent the people, and that's inclusive of all the people. And that's, you know, when I'm elected in there, my door will always be open. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Brian. Mr. Warren, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. When you become Mayor of Whangarei, what are you going to do for the local business people and, um, for example, the big box? that's going on downtown. Yeah. You're talking about the one at the Old Boys Rugby Club? That's the one. Yeah. You picked the hot topics for me. Yeah, well. But that's, that, I don't have a problem answering that. Well, I'm not against any development in town. Mm. What I believe is there should be a process, and the process needs to be transparent. Mm -hmm. I think, first of all, any of our assets, and I mean, people say it's council property, but it's actually ratepayers' property. Mm -hmm. And I believe, first of all, the ratepayers should be asked, can we sell this or should we sell this? And if the sale becomes imminent, well then it must be done on an open market. It must go through a, a, a good, um, transparent process of tendering on an open market. Everybody should be given that opportunity to, to participate in, in the process. There's a number of things and it's interesting that you bring that up because I mean there's been submission processes and a lot of people don't put submissions in for the simple reason they feel that they're not listened to but yeah I hear what you say you know you're, you've got businesses in town and uh, it's pretty hard for everybody and I know recently there's been some pretty hum uh, horrendous rate increases mm. and they're now talking about going back and actually reviewing it, well surely I would have thought the review should have done, been done with prior to actually putting it all up. Exactly. Mm. You know? Yep. Yeah, a lot of that is a concern of a lot of people, the rate increases, everybody's talking about it. Um, basically what for, you know? You yeah, can't well, see anything for it, it's just... Uh, it's very hard for small businesses in town mm. at the moment. Hi, I'm Wayne Deeming. I've um, been attending council meetings in Long Row for the best part of three years and, you know, these meetings last five, ten minutes and I just real, you know, just believe that um, there's a better way of openness and transparency. It's hard to, hard to believe that this is considered to be open and transparent. And uh, dealing with this council is a complete waste of everyone's time. They um, just treat people contemptuously and, I, and I'm sure that Warren is going to do a far better job in, um, as Mayor in addressing that. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as bad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! I'm not only saying lots of council meetings for the years, and I think you are going to be a good media. Violent crime, and if that's the way it's supposed to be, we know things are bad, worse than bad. bad. I don't want you to protest, I don't want you to ride, I don't want you to write to your Congress members, I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being! God damn it! My life has value!